what is going on Pisces it is Scorpio Red Tarot I am back at it again to tell you what is going on for your March love reading all right so <laughs> sorry I'm over here messing with my phone <laughs> over here listen to a little pink sweets ain't that his name pink pink sweets yes I like him I like him anyway so Pisces what's going on happy birthday to all of you guys thank you again for coming to visit with me over here Scorpion Reds Tarot we're going to find out what's going on with you guys and the energy for you guys for March 2019 thanks again for everyone who's shown me love and support in February shout out to y'all um, if anyone would like to personal or private reading you can go ahead and click that about tab there's a hyperlink down at the bottom that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at simply book me again that's Scorpion Reds Tarot at simply book me you can find that link in the about tab okay and if this video resonates if you would like to leave a love donation you can do so there's a link for my paypal in the description okay let's get into the prayer thank you god thank you so very much for bringing us all here for the sign of pisces happy birthday to all of my pisces that is celebrating a birthday shout out to all of you guys thank you god for bringing us here to celebrate another year and to rejoice and to praise and just you know, celebrate one more year and just growth and development and being able to experience new changes and new beginnings in our life. Thank you so much, Father, for just covering us and keeping us abundant and wrapped in your uh, strength and in the beauty of love of um, just you, Father. So thank you so much for giving us guidance for the sign of Pisces in the past, present, and future. Father, can you please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces? for March 2019. Thank you for delivering us here today. Thank you for where we're going to end up tomorrow. Only you know and thank you so much for giving us strength and help us be able to pick up all of the messages and the blessings and the wisdom along that path to greatness. Thank you again. Please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces. Thanks. All right. So let's start off this reading with one of these cards here. I don't know, I just got it to do that. I don't know why the light got blown out. Just got it to do this real quick. Please give me guidance for Son of Pisces. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right. Clean up time. The meal do fairy. I ain't never even seen this card before, so yes mildew time it is the clean up fairy do you hear me it is time to clean some shit up let's see what we got popping off with this one i ain't even ever start off no reading like this this is totally different that's what's up we want to start this off different we starting it off with a bang for march okay all right it says some things look like they're just yuck but they're not they're very good, and they can be powerful and helpful when used in the right way. So if the mildew fairy comes up in your reading, it is time to check out what could be profoundly useful for you, which you've dismissed. And this could be an aspect of yourself or an aspect of the environment you're in. It is very important not to try to hide this from yourself or try to cover it up. The health of the situation rests upon a degree of your openness and your approach with it. All right. So the mildew fairy speaks. It always shocks me when people think something shouldn't be there. Like me. I grow naturally where it's warm, wet, and I love to show you what may need to be taken care of. I can do wonderful things. I can be medicine. I can be a parasite too. But... All the time I'm showing you what is going on, what you need to change, and whether the conditions are a little too steamy for you. If they are, you can freshen up your environment naturally. Don't clean up or use harsh chemicals or bleaches as you'll kill all that is helpful and good. You see, I turn up when something is unhealthy and you just aren't noticing it or getting it. So be thankful for my presence and build a little algae or fungi pond in my honor 
or treat yourself to some tasty mushrooms. There are healthy, there are healthier ways to honor me. And do not step um, thoughtlessly through that fairy ring. It's all about me being in the right place. Don't ignore me. Right now, something really does need to be cleaned up healthfully before it can take effect on you. The true message. Think of ways to decrease stagnation or moisture. Stuck emotions. Uh, water signs. Mm hmm. And increasing airflow. Think fresh. Fresh thinking. In your home or in your environment. When the mildew fairy comes and pay a visit. It is likely that things are a little stagnant or over emotional. And that fresh new air um, and thoughts need to be brought into a clear situation and straighten it up. She can mend. Hold on Lord Jesus. Third grade education again. Hold on y'all. She can mean. A fresh way of thinking or a fresh point of view or a release of emotion that could be pulling in one area. Her appearance never means covering up. It means working with the environment to find yourself within. Like the mildew. Like the mildew fairy says. A little of her can be medicine and a great deal of her can be maddening. When she turns up. It will tell you a lot about what needs a fresh new approach in your life. And if she is inside lurking in cupboards in the bathroom instead of decorating pebbles in a pond, then you know that her presence is unhealthy. The energy needs to be addressed. Not rationalizing and excused. Um, not rationalized and excused and never ignored. So basically what this is saying is is definitely representing a water sign. And right now you're in a place where you're a little bit over emotional and I feel like it's too much clutter and unhealthy emotional drama going on in your life right now. So let's take a deep dive into that, shall we? <laughs> I just picked up the card and then this popped up right here. This is the Six of Swords. So it seems like right now you guys are getting aid and assistance of moving away from a situation that you feel like has been mentally clogging your mind and you're just ready for some fresh air as they were saying you're ready for fresh air and you're moving away from mental stagnation and things that have been a mental burden and keeping you in a place where you're just trapped and mentally unhappy you're getting aid and assistance from moving away so you might possibly be dating someone new who is helping you move far away from those troubled waters over to you know a calmer side of the sea you know so it looks like you might be getting help from somebody at this current moment to get you out of that mental state all right and not only that it's this person has been around and been helping you and your kids so this person might be someone that helps you with your kids or something like that Please give me guidance for Pisces for March 2019. Thank you so much. Please clarify this clean up time. Mildew fairy. Miss moving away. You're moving away from the waters. Anything flip over? Okay, no. Please give me guidance. I see. Thank you. Let's clarify this mildew fairy. It's time to clean up in March. So we doing in March. King of Swords. Looks like you might. Hmm. Setting boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I don't. I feel like right now, Pisces is in a place where they're mentally not sure about a situation and they're mentally not sure about stepping away from this situation. I don't feel like they are mentally clear and but they got to set boundaries. 
And they got to step away and work on their own foundation. And, okay. So in regards to this cleanup time, this mildew fairy, okay, you realize that this is not necessarily the edible fungus, you know, like this ain't the algae, honey. This is the toxic stuff. And you're realizing that my foot has been in trouble waters here. This is something that's been keeping me emotionally completely off my fucking rockers. You know what I'm saying? I've been mentally unstable for so long. I've been in the place. Ooh. Okay. Been in the place of unhappiness where you just completely don't want that in your sight anymore. And where the heck did the car go? Honey, that thing just flew right the heck up out my hand. Listen, <laughs> you see that star over there? You see that star back there in that background and um, you see some land over there. You're ready to pick up everything that you own. Leave things behind and start off elsewhere. You're ready to start your journey off elsewhere. I know at this current moment, excuse me, I don't feel like you're ready to share truths about how you really feel um, towards the situation that you're leaving i don't feel like you're ready to address certain truths i don't feel like you really even know how to express yourself or how to think about the situation you just know that you got to move forward because it's just too much chaos and confusion and you just want to be mentally free and clear of the situation and i definitely see that you're cutting this out and that you're walking away because you just don't see in your mind how things can, can get better you don't see how things can get better here and right now you're setting this you're setting this boundary up you're setting this boundary up but you feel like this thing that you are having to defend yourself against is vicious and even though you're setting this barrier you feel like somehow this person just knows how to make you explode you know kind of make you explode and you're just trying to like really guard yourself that's why you're getting away from the situation because i feel like you've prayed and 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 you've prayed, you prayed and you're tired of defending yourself and you just don't want to go through this battle anymore because you've tried praying you you've tried praying you you've tried all you can and it's just i feel like you're fatigued and you're not ready to pick up these sticks and go through battle in this situation again. You'd rather just leave. You'd rather just leave and you're, you're guarded because you know if you let this situation in again, you're going to have to get down on your knees and you're going to have to go through this battle again. And I don't think this is something that you really are ready to do. You just want to move forward and focus on your own foundation right now. You want to work on yourself. And you're creating something new. Like I said, you're moving away. You're completely moving away. Let's dig into love, Pisces. Pisces. Let's see what we got cracking off in love. Because you're moving away from something. Please give me some clarification. Um, this is something that you're very passionate about. And you're trying to create a new foundation somewhere else. I really do feel like this is someone moving um, to a new home. To a new home. I, I feel like this is... I feel like this is a relationship, honestly. This is something where you know you're going to have to, like, work to create your own thing. You mentally made the decision to move on. But you're not. Yeah. You don't see this developing into a marriage. You don't feel like you and the person that you with have the same um, wants and needs in regards to the future. Y'all just not on the same page. I feel like, honestly, what you trying to pull off in regards to romance and what your idea of romance and a relationship is, this person, their idea of romance and relationship is something else. Like y'all are just not on the same page. And maybe someone in this situation is wanting an untraditional relationship 
um, possibly like a side slide situation. They just try to slide through, glide through, whenever you know. They try and get some yeah, you know. Or a third party relationship or is it polyamory it could be um a situation where maybe someone was in the same sex relationship and decided that they don't want to do that no more and you know they want to you know they decided they want to go back to um more traditional you know i don't know so whatever this is you guys are not on the same page and you feel like this person does not have the same standards as you and you guys are just not connecting on this yeah religious factor like and maybe it's just down to the point that this person wants marriage and you don't see that with them you're not keeping an open mind in a relationship in regards to love that's why you're walking away i don't see that this situation could ever um it says give your relationship a chance Ooh. okay okay so you don't have any trust, but y'all have children together. And that's the only thing that's been holding y'all together. This is blocking new love. And you're scared. To, like I said, you, you don't want to... you not ready. Pisces is not prepared to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation and tell a person the truth about how they feel and what's going on. And I feel like, honestly, like there might be some secrets going on. And I want to say if they're male Pisces, that the woman packed up her stuff and left him. And took the kids and left him. And she be might, she might be having like aid from her family or her friends. Or like maybe her father came and was like, you know, well, watch out, bruh. They're leaving. And, you know, packed their shit up and left, you know. So if this is the Pisces women... You guys are getting aid and assistance from like some guy, some fan. Why do I keep one? Drop this card. What's going on? Okay. Pisces energy don't like the fact that someone's leaving. Clearly. Pisces don't like that somebody. Pisces do not like that someone's leaving or left and is planning to leave. They're not ready to talk about the truth. There's some shit going on. I feel like in the background that it's untraditional that someone was just not having and they got the fuck up and left. They said, I am not working on this no more. I am not keeping an open mind about this relationship no more. I've tried it and I've, I've, I've had it. I've had it. I've tried and I've tried to give this relationship an open mind. I really do because I love you and I tried to keep an open mind. Um, I tried to give this relationship a chance. They can't keep, they can't give this an open mind, even though they want to give the relationship a chance. I'm sorry I was saying that messed up. But there's no trust in the relationship. There's no trust. That's why they can't keep an open mind, regardless of how much they want to give you a chance, no matter how much they love you for real. There is no trust here. There is no trust. Someone broke the trust. Someone broke the trust. And the only thing that's been keeping you guys together is the fact that you guys have children. You guys probably have two, three children, okay? I feel like there's a new love in your in your life that's not really taking off. It's stagnant because you are not breaking down with this person that you have these children with and having this heart-to-heart -heart uh, conversation and really breaking off. But I feel like this person is moving away from you anyway. Um, If this is a Pisces male and for the Pisces female, I feel like y'all are moving away anyway. Y'all are moving away anyway. Y'all just don't have the heart to have the conversation with this person that you're leaving. And that you're taking the kids. Like like I told you, some you're getting help from someone. You're taking the kids and you're leaving. Because you want new love to come in your life. And you know if you continue to stay in this situation, it's going to stag stagnate you. You know that you're not going to get no truth here from this King of Swords. And this person, honestly, the King of Swords is a bachelor, honestly. Is a bachelor. So this person was probably being promiscuous and was not being truthful about it. And you felt like this person was cold. And I want to say this person could have even been 
nasty verbally to you this person could have been putting you down pisces for my pisces women and y'all just like uh-uh no i'm not dealing with this the only reason why i'm even fucking with you right now is because i still got these kids with you i was thinking about waiting until they got older to leave you but no and and for some of you i feel like i want kids i want true love like this is what i want i want children and this is why I got to leave you, you know, because for some of you guys, I feel like some of you Pisces, you, you, the ladies, y'all are young because if you look at this girl, she's young, she's young. She still has a lot of life to live. And she's like, what is all this clutter and this mildew and stuff all over? Like, no, 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 I'm not. No, I feel like you've been having to put a barrier over your heart. You've been having to put a barrier over your heart and you spent many a days praying that this person would just be truthful to you and just give you some clarity and let you know what's going on. But your foot is in that troubled water with these kids. Do you see what I'm saying? Either you want kids and you're moving away because you want kids and you know that you're not going to ever get it in a situation or you have kids and you're like, fuck that. I'm better off moving on, working on my own. I can't, I can't do this more. I can't keep an open mind. As much as I love you and I want to give this shit a chance, I don't trust you. I want to focus on my children. I have a, my children are the first thing and my priority right now. Or I want children and I know I'm never going to get this here. This is blocking new love. I just don't know how to have this conversation with you. But I can't do this no more. That's basically what's going on, you guys. That is, that is the T. The crumpet, the tea, and the wet nap on the side, honey. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> real quick, um, let me give you one more deep dive into love real quick. Spirit, please give Pisces additional guidance and love. Thank you. Please give us... Deeper clarification and love that we're gonna go into career. Yes, y'all, I'm adding career. Who look at me being fancy? <laughs> y'all like that? <laughs> y'all said I'm not about to be no victim in a situation anymore. No okay, I, I'm not gonna feel. I'm not, and I'm not gonna allow you to make me a victim. You're not gonna keep doing this to me. Whoever victim, listen. I'm focusing on my vibrations. I'm keeping my senses. I said, <laughs> Come on, Pisces. You said I'm trying to catch my vibe and release. Girl, girl, come on. It girl, girl, come on. Can I get a shimmy and shake, girl? What did you do? Girl, you said this person is blocking me from being able to refocus, and I'm about to turn this shit around like I'm Julie Brown, girl. Hold on. What Julie Brown got to do with this? I don't know. But I'm about to turn this shit around like Julie Brown, girl. Refocus. I'm reloaded. Boom. What we talking? What we talking? Because you felt stuck. You felt stuck. This situation made you realize that, look, I'm not able to refocus on what I really need because I'm stuck in a situation. And I got to go. Because y'all fucking up my vibes, honey. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my... I gotta refocus. Uh. Ooh. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Find me big old horse. I gotta refocus. <laughs> Ooh. I gotta ride out. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. I'm gonna get me big horse. I'm gonna... <laughs> Hey, bitch, don't kill my vibe. I ain't about to be no victim out here, girl. I'm about to go find me see this kid. Girl, get on out of here. <laughs> Stuck where? And bitch, where? <laughs> I'm reloaded. Ooh. Let's get into some career. Father God, please give us some guidance for the sign. Of my beautiful, beautiful Pisces on their birthday. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Pisces? Nutrition, listen. 
I feel like y'all been stressing out a lot. Y'all not eating. Y'all not keeping no balanced meal. Y'all need to eat some breakfast. I feel like a lot of y'all be getting up in the morning. Y'all don't eat no damn breakfast. Half y'all don't even eat until 1, maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock. You, you better get up and go go to Smoothie King, Jamba Juice. You better make you a damn smoothie or something. Put some vitamins, some protein in that bitch. You better do something. Come on now. Conduct. Conduct your work with culinary. Tell me y'all some chefs. Ooh, who we cooking? Y'all be selling blades. First off, listen. If y'all be... Hold on, let me come close. Hey, if y'all be uh selling them little... um Them little liquor pouches, like them little strawberry Hennessy's and them little peach uh margaritas and uh, them little daiquiris and shit, y'all hit me in my inbox, y'all. Fly me out. Get me flewed out. Fly me, flew me some of them jumps out. Anyway. <laughs> Cause you know I like me a little cocktail, you know. I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna tell. Girl. Girl, it is your world. Y'all better go out here and be chefing it up. Who be cooking? Who be stewing it up? Who oh, 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 oh. Girl, we ain't doing all this. What we doing? Really? The Lord got all that to say to you? Okay. Alright. Come on. What in the deal? Okay. Because y'all not about to do me today. Y'all not about to be having me working this hard today. Listen. Like I said, focus and eat, eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Some of you guys want to go back to school. But I feel like your family is in the way. You want to go back to school, but you feel like your family is in the way. I feel like you're going to get help. You have more help and support around you than you honestly think. Talk to your your mom and your dad and like your sisters and stuff like that. Even like your little brother. I feel like your brother works night shifts so your brother just be busy just doing whatever. I feel like your family, you have a little bit more support um, with your family than you think you can. Um, but you really want to be able to create, um, express yourself creative, creatively. I see a lot of you... Um, the school that you guys want to go to, I feel like it's school for the arts. You guys want to do video editing or like um, TV production or some, something real different. Like not honestly what people would think that they would be going to school for. And clearly like we have right here, culinary, culinary arts. So I feel like you guys want to go to school for cooking and talk to your angel. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. I feel like you guys have been worrying about this because you want to follow your heart. Like I said, y'all be making some bomb ass daiquiris, okay? And y'all be look on the low on Sunday. Y'all be having a line around the corner around your neighborhood, okay? Selling them plates, okay? Go ahead and get you that business licenses. Do it the right way. Okay? That way you can write your gas mileage off. Girl, come on. Come on. Stop being lazy and study and figure out how to do this shit the right way. Because you could pull this shit off. I see if some of y'all about to be getting some food trucks. Y'all about to really do it. And y'all already very good at what you're doing already. But if you go, and if you go to school, and if you learn how to cook. Because I feel like y'all know how to do a lot of soul food cooking. But go to school and learn how to do it the healthy, nutritional way. Learn how to cook it. Learn how to cook always. Don't just learn soul food or what your me and them talk. Learn don't be lazy. Go and study. And I feel like it's going to brighten your horizons to a whole total different wave of culinary. And you already going to have that soul food background to it. You going to kill that shit because you know I season for a reason, bitch. Come on. Give me a plate, flute in, girl. Give me a plate. Fool, you better come on do for Pisces today in a career. In a career with no fear, girl. Girl, let me stop. <laughs> girl, listen, trust. Trust, girl, you know what you're doing. You know, it says trust your feelings and your dreams and your... To, trust, you know what you're doing. You know, do not be... Do not be lazy. You want to be an entrepreneur. I'm surprised that that did not 
that did not pop out but you need to go and get the appropriate teaching because an infinite abundance is about to come to you in regards to your career i'm not about to do pisces i'm not about to do y'all I'm not about to do y'all. I don't care what type of career. I don't care if y'all cooking. I don't care if you coloring. I don't care if you loving. I don't care what you doing. I don't care if you. Well, I do care if you hovering. Don't be hovering over a bitch. Don't be doing that, girl. Don't be doing no psycho shit. No, don't be doing that. Be doing that. One more. Father, please give Pisces day to day guidance. And we about y'all. We is about. Come on, Father. Give me, give me some guidance. Thank you, Father. Give Pisces some last words of God. Oh, okay. What is that? Release and surrender. <laughs> Y'all like that? Hold on. <laughs> Y'all like? Yes, girl. Y'all think I could be a singer? Huh? No? Maybe no? Oh, I heard no. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> release and surrender girl release and surrender baby boy baby Jody my Jody if you don't release Jody dumb broke ass he cute he got he got he got the magic stick uh -huh. if he can make you come once he can make it come twice my girl he he a bad man leave, girl leave him alone do what you're doing to move away and work on yourself, girl. You're not going to get no truth, no clarity. And someone that you got to guard yourself and you got to literally kneel down and pray like that. And you tired of having to pray about the situation. Girl, if you do not stop wasting your energy on this shit and get the fuck. Girl. I don't know if this is you, Pisces, that's dealing with this, or if this is someone dealing with Pisces, but whoever is dealing with this, y'all need to let that go. Y'all need to let that go. Give it to Jesus and pray for that person and just let that person do with the universe okay it says we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly and gripped within your hands open up your hands arms and heart to our love and our assistance the universe and spirit is really trying to help guide you and get you where you need to be baby you just need to focus release and surrender and get ready for this transformation because March is about to take the fuck off, baby. I want y'all to shake y'all ass and show up and show out for y'all birthday, okay? Don't let nobody get in your way. Have a good ass time this March. You her? You are her? You are her. And I want y'all to step into greatness. I really want y'all to step into greatness and continue to work on yourself and clean up that mold, okay? If it's healthy and if it's good. And like I said, it's nutritionist. You throw some mushrooms in your salad and stuff and your little um frittata. Be whipping like stuff while you be doing that. If you go do that, then we can do that. But if you can't do video, mm -mm. if you can't do that, we can't be doing that. Mm -mm. But the Lord wants you to clean it. Don't be using no... uh. What they say, no bleaches. Don't be, don't be bleaching. How y'all healthy people? Y'all let me. What y'all natural people? How you? How you supposed to get mold out of there without the bleach? Because you know me. Ha ha ha! I chopped it down. I, I ain't got time for it. Mm mm. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about being nice to the mold. Uh uh. Mm mm. Anyway, I love y'all. Let me get the fuck out of here. I love y'all. Peace, love, and head grease. If y'all want a personal reading, click the about. Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If y'all want to drop a, 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 a proper drop off, y'all want to drop a dime a couple of times in the PayPal, you can go ahead and do that, honey. Because I got me some, ooh, I got me some new decks and some shit I want to get me. So go ahead, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl, because it's your world. I love y'all, Pisces. Happy birthday. Peace.